There are people in this great nation of ours, a lot of people, who call this flyover country. But this is America, where homes are carved from the cornfields, and a two-wheeler can still rule the streets. Where the local attractions include the famous Hobo Museum, and Perkins Garage still takes care of its customers one at a time. In Britt, Iowa, life is comfortable and quiet, except once a week when the thunder rolls at the Hancock County Speedway. Britt may be famous for its hobos, but tonight the wandering vagabonds of the USMTS take the spotlight. The hunt is on for a national championship. But after running the first feature of his comeback last night, Mike Spaulding is running on fumes, in the tank and in the wallet. Yeah, I'm gonna give the wife a call here. Um, I've got $124 left on my card. I haven't got enough to even get enough fuel to race the rest of the night here. How's the luck? 500 will work. Hi, sexy. Hi, sweetie, I missed you. Know some sweet talking in quite a bit here? Just talk to Sue. If you can give Sue the information on your bank, she's gonna wire 500 bucks in. Because I need money. I don't even have gas fuel money tonight. Okay. Well, that's one thing I like running with these USMTS with the promoters. Um, Todd and Janet are always willing to, to help the driver out to get him to that next show. For guys in my situation, that's that's the only way right now I'm racing, so it's a big plus. So Spalding will run another night, but he needs to make the feature. And after a difficult heat, he's in a B main battle to do it. Fortunately, of the 10 cars in this B, all but two will make the feature. Corey Drips is in command, but Spalding is on the bubble. And look at that middle groove line is the place to be right now, making up some time down to the white flag. 